I know you can, well, you can see me better than sometimes when I'm filming. It's going up for five o'clock now. I've not been home long. I'm really struggling. I keep saying that, like, I think that's my favourite sentence. I'm really struggling. But I am. I can't even put into words how I'm struggling. I don't think there's words to describe it. I would love more than anything to just go away for a couple of weeks where no one knows me, where I can be left alone and have time to myself and space to myself and not wonder or worry or be harassed by the police or anything. That would make me happy. That would make me happier. I don't know if I could ever be happy again. But I can't, I've got no money. And with my health issues and my anxiety and my depression, it wouldn't be the best thing for me to do. As much as, as I would love to get away and as much as I need to get away, I can't. And I want to more than anything on the planet. And it's just getting more and more difficult for me. And I don't know what to do, don't know what to say. I have nothing left to give. You know, I've got my doctor's Monday, but I don't know how I'm going to get to Monday, if that makes sense. I'm not necessarily saying I'm going to go and do something. But I can't carry on feeling the way that I feel. I'm so anxious now more so than ever. And... I don't know what I'm meant to do anymore. I'm home. I'm going to sit in my office room and get a couple of things done. I'm going to try and distract my mind, but I don't like being home alone at the moment. And it didn't help early with someone pounding on the door who looked like he was dressed like, you know, police. And when he stepped backwards, I thought, well, there's going to be another one with him. So I was just like, oh God, if they carry on, what am I going to do? Well, I knew I was going to take some tablets. But when he stopped and he got in his car and no, there was no one else at the door, I was like, oh, hmm, maybe there was only one of them. I mean, I know there was eventually, but it took him ages to drive off. And that was the problem because I thought he was going to come back. If he had done, I was just about to go upstairs and take loads of tablets, basically. I can't deal with this stress. I can't deal with any of it. Like, I just want to be left alone by everyone. I'm not in a happy place. Like, I don't even want to go see my doctor Monday. That's how I truly feel. Where are they parking? Or are they turning round? What strange place to turn round or strange way to turn round? I'm going to the toilet. I'm not putting any lights on. I don't want anyone to know I'm home. But I'm going to need a light on in my office, which kind of... I mean, people do leave lights on, even when they're not in. But... I just can't cope. I don't want anyone at my house. I don't want to talk to anyone. I want to be left alone. Like, is that too much to actually ask? Probably. God, I keep tripping over that wire. I need to sort it out because someone's going to end up bloody tripping and going flying across the landing. It's always me. It's for this little oil radiator that we've got here. Which, like if you saw it, it's like 12 inches by 6 inches. The heat that it's throwing out is amazing. This is a flying angle, isn't it? Good job you can't see me unless you're lighting your screen. This car literally just drove on my street super slow, turned round and drove off super, super slow. I turned all my lights off except for my living room, but they drove past my house so slow, like they were looking at my house. This is why I don't like being home alone. Because there's all sorts of stuff going on. And by the looks of it, they've parked next to my house where I can't see which I think is bang out of order. 
I hope they're not coming here because I won't answer the door. My dog keeps looking at the door. She freaks me out all the time as well. She's constantly making me think there's either someone outside the house or someone about to knock on the door. And it stresses me out. I hate being in the house. She's like this because she's waiting for my dad to come home. Oh God, I've got candles lit. Everyone's gonna know I'm home. And they've definitely parked just at the side of my house, out of view. See, I don't need this kind of stress in my life. I'm literally... They've parked on the street opposite. Now they've just reversed back off and drove off. They were definitely looking at my house, I'm not stupid. If it's out to do with the police, I won't put it past them because they harass me, they bully me, they intimidate me, they go out of the way to make my life a living hell. I wish someone would just make the police disappear. Right, got to do something for Sunday's video now. Not that I'm in the mood and the dog's stressing me out. It's about half past eight or something like that. And if you're wondering why it's dark, it's because I'm in a dark room. AKA in my bedroom, AKA in my bed. After I last filmed, I think I was like stressed out because there was a car outside or whatever. I was like, I'm really exhausted. My head's pounding. I was starting to get a bit of a runny nose. And I was just like, I don't feel great. And but knowing my look, I'm probably coming down with something, which might be the case because I'm cold as well and I'm achy. So about an hour ago, I came upstairs and I took two codeine. I can't take paracetamol or Nurofen because I don't have any. That's going to change because my dad's going to bring some on with me, with me, with him. I also realised I don't have any dog food. I was meant to buy dog food today and I think because... I went out later than planned and I was all over the place and I didn't go to that side of that town because it's a different, like, it was a totally different side of town. It's not even the town that I live in, but I was, it was another town. And when I was at Tesco, it's that town, but on, at the other side, and because I'd left Tesco at like half past four or 25, whatever it was. And then I went and got petrol, I just totally forgot. My mindset was to get some lunch to my dad because it was going up for five I'd not eaten since like the morning I had a slice of toast and a yogurt I weren't feeling great and then I came home and I thought oh it's okay because normally I keep these wet dog foods called by the brand natural I normally have a couple in but the other week she ran out of food and we used them so when I went to get some out of the cupboard I was like oh god she ain't got on here so I told my dad, I don't think he will have gone to the pet shop. I think he's probably going to get us some wet food for tonight. But I was just like, I'm so tired, I just physically cannot go to the shop. And that's when I came upstairs. And um, I took two codeine, because that's only the pain relief I got. And I don't know if you can really take that for headaches. Um... And I've took it and it's not got rid of my headache, but if I've got a cold or something, it won't get rid of the headache anyway. And I've had an orange leucoside as well because I've realised I've barely drank today. I had a Dr Pepper this morning. I didn't pick any up for the weekend either, like an idiot, but it's okay because it's less calories that I'm going to have. And I, I drank three quarters of that. Then I went out. The next drink I had was that cayenne and turmeric shot. And then at about half past five, I had a can of Diet Coke. That's it. 
so that's probably not helping things either. Um, I didn't eat a full sandwich. When I had my lunch, I didn't like what I'd got. I ate half and then probably nearly half of a half. Um, but yeah, I just don't feel good. I'm really thirsty, I've got a headache. My legs are achy. I'm cold. I've had to put my bed on number six. I had it on number four until about ten minutes ago and I just can't get warm. So it's on number six. I feel like I've not slept for weeks. I just feel really crappy. I am hoping I'm not getting sick because I don't want to get sick. I'm hoping I'm just tired and I need to eat and drink. I'm scared if I go to sleep, I'm not going to wake up till midnight and I've got food downstairs. So I don't know what to do. Like, it's going up. I don't even know what time it is. Hold on, I'll stop this and restart it. moved since I last filmed. I know I'm back in bed but that light wasn't on before. I think I stopped filming about quarter to nine, ten to nine. Um, I went downstairs about ten past, quarter past nine so I didn't go to sleep. I kind of feel like if I was going to go to sleep I should have done it when I came home. But even though I wasn't feeling great, it was like during the hour or so after I got home that I was like, oh god, I need to go lie down. So I got up and I went and had something to eat, which you will hopefully have seen before this because I did film it. And I stayed downstairs until about an hour ago. I can't remember what time it is. I know it's very late. Hold on, I'll check in and I'll start filming again. But you won't know I've started filming or stopped filming because, well, you do now, but you wouldn't have done it. I've said it is 20 past two in the morning and I came upstairs around an hour ago. To be honest, I shouldn't still be up. But I drank a, I drank about a litre of Diet Coke, so that's kept me awake. I don't know if you can hear. I'm doing that when I'm talking, Anna. I? I obviously need a drink. I feel like I'm coming down with something, because I have a dull achy headache, like the headaches you get when you've got a cold like a mild version of it. I obviously need a drink. Even though I think I've drank enough today, like I told you what I drank earlier. I've since drank a litre of Diet Coke and two glasses of apple and pear Robinson's fruit and barley thing. So I think, you know, I've had a good two litres today. That's why I think I'm ill. Um, you see, I didn't do anything. I just literally sat downstairs mainly on Instagram. I didn't do anything at all. And I've come upstairs and I've been on Instagram again. And time just seems to be going quite quickly. And, yeah, I feel ill. I feel like I'm just aching and tired and annoy me that sound that's making when I'm talking. When I edit this I'm probably going to hate it. I've had two codeine since I've come upstairs. I don't feel like they've kicked in. I also had painkillers about half past nine because as I said I didn't have any but my dad got an my dad got some. And before I came upstairs I was too hot. I mean too cold. Yeah too hot. I came upstairs and went cold. So I've got the electric blanket on number six. I had it on number four. 
and it wasn't hot enough. Then I had it on number five and it still wasn't hot enough. Now I've got it on number six, it feels like it's too hot. I just don't feel well at all. I'm just abs I don't feel exhausted, but I just feel a little bit tired and headachy and achy. And I had a bit of a runny nose earlier, which seems to have stopped, but I just don't feel well. And I'm hoping I'm not getting sick because I've just got over the flu. And it's typical. <sighs> I'm gonna like try and sleep till about 12 if I can. Get up and go to bed about 10 pm. I'm a really bad going to sleep type of person. I know that doesn't make sense, but when I should sleep, I don't. I get distracted and I don't really do anything, just go on Instagram. I'm going to try and edit as many vlogs together as I can tomorrow. I'll probably get enough footage for at least five. I want to get them uploaded and get all my videos scheduled for December. I need to edit some of this video if I can and the lighting's good and it's not raining and I get it started quick enough I want to film a video for Tuesday I know what I want it to be and I want to get some housework and other things done but obviously if I don't feel well or whatever I'm not going to get anything done I'm going to go for now I don't know when I want to get to sleep I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow I just know I'm sick of hearing that sound when I'm trying to talk. I think it's about half past eleven at night on Saturday, something like the 16th of November. I wasn't going to film, but I want to document how ill I feel and the fact that I think I'm coming down with flu again because I have the same symptoms as I had last time I got ill. So like... Three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I can't remember, on the Friday, I started to feel ill and I ended up going to bed for a couple of hours on the Friday night, I think, and then on the Saturday, I woke up feeling the same way I woke up feeling today, where I'm hot and then sometimes I go a little bit cold, I have a stuffy nose, I feel on the verge of sneezing continuously. I need a drink, if you can hear that. I need a drink a lot. Um, I'm not super thirsty yet, but I'm, I'm getting a bit like that. Um, my legs are achy. My body's achy, but not too achy at the moment. I'm headachy. And I just don't feel right. And I had these symptoms last time, which again, Yesterday started last night and I come and got in bed and I didn't go to sleep because it was literally like if I go to sleep I could be asleep till midnight and I've not had my evening meal and I've not had much to drink either but I think what I should have done was just let myself go to sleep and if I slept till midnight then I slept till midnight you know but me being my own worst sleep enemy especially when I'm ill was scared of falling to sleep for a long time. And that was the reality of it. So, I went downstairs last night, had my food and lots of drink. And I came up to bed and I couldn't sleep. And then I kept waking up. And then I'd like wake up and then go on my phone for like an hour, hour and a half. Instead of thinking, right, I'm going to go back to bed. No, I just got on my phone. So, didn't have the best night's sleep. And then I got up today. And I laid here for a couple of hours and then I went downstairs and had breakfast and some painkillers and a drink and it got to about four o'clock or something like that and I thought, I'm really tired 
should I go to bed? And because my anxiety is through the roof at the moment, and I'm really struggling with how I'm feeling and stuff, I didn't want to come and get in bed in case someone potentially knocked on the door. And no one ever comes to my house, ever, and that's on purpose. But I was just so scared that someone would knock on the door and it would freak me out. And then I also thought, oh, well, Strictly Come Dance is on at such a time, if I go to sleep, you know, I'm not going to be able to have two hours sleep, I'll have to set an alarm. Instead of thinking, go to bed, you clearly don't feel very well. You know, you can always watch Strictly Come Dancing later on Catch Up or tomorrow on Catch Up. You don't need to watch it tonight. I watched it and then I thought casual to be on straight after and as soon as I've watched that I'll come to bed. No casualty were on. Stupid unfunny Michael McIntyre was then on. Then casualty was on which I paused so I could edit a vlog. I'd already edited one by that point, so I edited a second one and paused casualty whilst I edited it. Then I watched casualty and paused it again and I think I edited a third vlog. And then I watched Casualty, then Thursday's um, EastEnders, because I'd watched part of it earlier in the day, and I watched the rest of it. Then I finally came upstairs. I'd been upstairs about half an hour, feeling really sorry for myself. I'm feeling so ill. I'm so exhausted. And literally about two hours ago... <gasps> I had some tea nurse capsules because that's how ill I feel. So I've had two lots of ibuprofen and paracetamol today. So I've had eight tablets in total, four of each. And then I had two day nurse capsules. And I feel like crap. I'm too hot. I had the electric blanket on four when I got in. Got too hot, put it on one. I'm still too hot. My headache's getting worse, I'm getting more snotty, I'm getting more thirsty, you can probably hear it, I'm probably going to hate editing this, because I can hear it when I'm talking. I just feel crappy, and this is how it started last time. Last time I went to sleep on a Saturday night and woke up an hour and a half later with a sore throat. So if I wake up with a sore throat, either in the middle of the night or tomorrow, I'm going to know I'm getting flu. Like, I don't need this. I really, really don't need this. I know I don't help myself with the sleep thing. But, you know, I don't want to keep getting ill all the time. Like, when I had that flu, it knocked me for six. I was literally in bed from the Monday night till the Friday, like, lunchtime. When I went to the shopping and I went to the doctors and I went to the shopping and all that weekend, I was really ill. Then the week after, I finally got over it. And even though I like, got over, over the flu and stuff, I'm still ill with my main illness. And I've got like secondary illnesses going on as well. So I just feel like I never ever have a break from being ill. But I seriously don't want flu or a viral thing. And that's what it feels like at the moment, especially with the headache. Do you know that dull achy headache you get with headaches? I've got with that you get with colds. That's what I've got, and it's getting worse. It's right in the centre of my head at the moment. I just feel really snotty and run down, and I don't know what the hell is wrong, but I wish it would just go away. <sighs> I'm really fed up. I've probably had about two litres to drink today. I've brought a drink up with me. I can't stop moving my eyes. I'm tired but I'm awake at the same time. I just feel like crap. Like really, really crappy. It'd be nice if I got a really nice sleep tonight and woke up feeling a little bit better or fully better would be amazing. Because right now it literally does feel like the flu. And I'll tell you what, I've been editing vlogs and I've got vlogs where I'm just filming the dark like I am now and there's one of the videos like I literally cut out 10 minutes because I was literally in the dark 
and I, I kept like 10 minutes of it in and then I thought I'm just deleting the rest without watching it because I just don't want to keep having dark footage but at least I'm showing a bit of light <laughs> I don't want to show myself I look like crap but I feel like crap hi everyone The last time I filmed was 20 to 12. It's now 10 past 5 in the morning and I've been awake nearly an hour. Woke up a couple of times and then uh, one of the times I woke up my dog was running up and down the stairs and I thought she needed to go out. So I woke up probably not long after. I think I fell asleep briefly and then woke up again. And um <sighs> been on my phone ever since because I keep doing this I keep picking my phone up every time I wake up and I'm on it over an hour when I first woke up I probably felt 10% better than I did when I went to sleep now because I've been awake an hour my nose is running again I feel like crap I've just been downstairs and I've had two more day nurse capsules and two Nurofen. The Nurofen is to go with the paracetamol that's in the day nurse because I'm in a lot of pain. Um, and I've just put up an orange leukoside. I've also just had some, some balsam, it's like a cough medicine for it bleeds with cold and flu as well. So I've brought up an orange leukoside which I want to drink. But I'm feeling as bad as I did when I went to bed basically really snotty and headachey and my legs are now killing me so uh, I can't cope with having flu again like I literally just had it and these are definitely flu symptoms and I've got the doctors on Monday but obviously I don't want to go in with a full blown cold or flu and as I said I slept without my electric blanket on and I woke up and the heating weren't on because it's not clicked on and I was sweating like literally my hair was wet with sweat I've just put my electric blanket on whilst I sit here and have a drink I've put it on the hour longer setting I'm not putting it on nine hours and the reason I put it on is because I'm in so much pain in my legs my body that I feel like it needs some heat and that's the only reason I put it on but I'm probably going to absolutely sweat I can't see this illness going anytime soon because I'm just getting worse and just like I've just had flu I had it heavy for a week and then I felt crappy for the week after and then last week I've not felt right but it shouldn't come back like this and I don't know what to do and I know my doctor won't give me anything anyway I know all this is probably boring that you keep seeing just the door but obviously I'm not going on camera I'm going to go back to sleep in about 20 minutes hopefully been awake two hours now I feel like crap just uploaded a video to this channel on 4G because on 4G it takes half an hour on broadband it takes six hours it would appear I only edited together two videos last night thought it was free I've got enough footage on my phone for two or three I can't remember if it's two or three but hopefully today if I don't get too sick I'll edit them all and get everything up hopefully hopefully I'll I'll film things other than doors but I feel really crap honestly I've had enough I'm still not going on camera everyone but it's a different view um, I woke up at about 20 past 9 this morning and no matter what I did I couldn't get back to sleep so I sat on my phone for ages on Instagram 
And eventually around 12 o'clock I got up, came downstairs, had some breakfast, had some day nurse, had some ibuprofen, I had my vitamin, which I take every single day, I still get ill. And I think I had a drink, I can't remember. No, I took a drink up with me. Went back upstairs, drank my drink, laid down and fell asleep about 1 o'clock. And then I woke up about half 2. It's 10 to 5 now, by the way. Was it half two that I woke up? I think it was half two. Tried to get back to sleep for about an hour and I was like, this is not happening. I'm pouring in sweat, by the way. One minute I'm cold, the next minute I'm pouring in sweat. Right now I'm pouring in sweat and I've got the heating on because when I came down, I was shivering. So I don't know if I should turn the heating off and get cold again or if I should just let myself sweat. Um, so eventually I came downstairs about 35 minutes ago and I've started to cook that turkey dinner you would have seen it what a nightmare it is you've got to take the roast potatoes out and put them in first for 20 minutes then you've got to turn them over and then put in the tray with everything well the tray but before you put the tray in, you've got to take out the um, stuffing and the pigs in blankets which you put on the tray next to the roast potatoes but everything else stays in except for the Yorkshire pudding which you keep out for another 10 minutes and then you put it in for 5 minutes so even if it's tasty I don't think I'm going to bother with it again because it's just so much hassle I literally thought it cooked all at the same time so all I've done is do that I'm waiting for my lamp to go off so I can then go and put the Yorkshire pudding in I'm going to have a drink, well I'm going to have a lot to drink because I've only had one or two drinks today. I know I got up in the middle of the night, whatever time it was, I probably filmed, I'm not sure, like was it like 5.30 or something, and had an orange Lucas aid. But all I've had other than that is some water that's in my room and I haven't had a lot and one drink. So I'm going to have a lot to drink now after I've had my food. I've put the washer on which is just finished. So... If I've got time, well, when I've put my roast potato in, I'm just going to get everything in the dryer or the radiators, depending on how I dry it. And that's my little update. I feel worse than I did. I've still got that half blocked, stuffy, half try to run nose that's constantly irritating me. I've still got the headache. I still ache all over. I'm sweating but I'm cold, I'm going from one to the other, like my face is frozen to the touch but my body is absolutely sweating, I feel like I've not slept in a month, I don't know what to do with myself, I'm going to have um, a shower before I get back in bed but I know I'll get frozen and then I'll be shivering and then I'll probably sweat all over my bed so I'm glad I didn't wash my bedding today because I was meant to wash it and dry it today but it would take hours. And I'm probably going to want to get in back in bed in like an hour or two. I don't know. I'm trying to sleep, but my body's just not letting me, basically. 